Hello everybody, my name is Provis and welcome back to more Hearts of Iron 4 Kaiserreich playing as the Russian Empire. We finished off the Third International, helped restore the British monarch to the throne and took over France in the process. Somehow Italy was able to survive. Don't really know how. I plan on killing them because syndicalism can't be allowed to live. Alright, filthy disgusting syndicalism. But in the meantime, all of my forces, well not all, but a lot of my forces are now transferring over to Asia, through Siberia, because we have to go and fight all of these guys in Japan. I think Japan will not be absurdly difficult to beat, but it will be a little bit harder. It would have been nice if I could have owned more of China to slow them down and give me more avenues of attack, but in lieu of that, honestly, A-OK -okay with me. Let's just try to get some troops in position, hold them off in, let's say, Indonesia and wherever the heck else. We want to hold on to Laos. I would love to get rid of them in Vietnam. Now it's just a matter of, like, just trying to clean this up. I think this is going to be a lot easier than what we've experienced in the past. I'm hoping it's going to be a lot easier than what we've experienced in the past. Could be wrong, though. It does happen sometimes. Uh, do we want to go for a fighter manufacturer for the extra range and agility? I think the answer is yes. Let's go for a fighter manufacturer because it'll be easier to get the air superiority I need. To go for paratroopers if, for whatever reason, a naval invasion is uh, out of the cards. Now let's actually take a look over here at our navy. I want to make sure that we are sending you guys to join up in the 70 flot. Whatever that means. I, I don't I don't know. Uh, you guys are honestly overdoing the um, subs a little bit. We honestly need to stop producing you. And start producing level 3 advanced submarines. So let's do that. We'll go for better engines. Uh, I'm good with lots of really good torpedoes. More torpedoes, sure. Beyond that though, what we really want is a snorkel. And nothing else here is that important. So let's go ahead and start building these out. Uh, where are you? Subs? That is the right one, right? Yeah, that's the one I just assigned. Cool, okay. So once this is done, producing subs, it'll go ahead and start replacing them with the new ones. And these are going to be going to the various different task forces that I am currently utilizing, trying to get submarines to take some guys out. United Kingdom joins the Entente. The UK exists! I can't close this. There it is. Restoration of the United Kingdom. There they are. And Canada remains their own independent dominion, but the UK is a new nation. Welcome back to the fold, my friends. Don't mind the fact that all of Europe belongs to me. I am zero threat to you. I promise. I have no interest in fighting the Entente. Could I? Yeah. Do I want to? No. It doesn't sound like fun. Kind of fun seeing the units all actually using the Trans-Siberian Highway that I built. I actually feel really good about how I use this thing. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and add you guys just to this army, uh, because you're not gonna be a defensive force anytime soon, and I might as well have a few guys who can just fill in the gaps. Not that it matters too much. Field Marshal, can we get a new trait on you? No. Generals? You can get a new trait. Anything I care about? Oh, maybe. Let's see. You use primarily infantry to attack with artillery, so an infantry attack will be okay. Probing attack, maybe, but probably not. Um... Yeah, I think we'll just go ahead and use the infantry expert there for a slight extra boost. Could go for... I will want... The thing is, I actually do want a general for paratroopers, if we're going to do this. I'm going to hold on to that trait just in case you can use it. You uh, are primarily for attack, but motorized defense is still useful, so we'll go ahead and give you that. You don't get a new trait for your tanks? Ah. Oh, well, that bites. What about this field marshal? Can you do anything exciting? Yes, ambusher. Cool. Let's give all the defensive armies some extra max entrenchment. You already have ambusher, so even though you have a trait slot, you can't get anything. Got ambusher there. We have really high entrenchment is what I'm learning. I gave everybody ambusher. Basically, except for you, who's just glowering all the time because he's the winter soldier. He's the winter attrition guy. Return of the French exiles. They have successfully taken back their home. They have not really, though. I mean, they've got this. So, I mean, if you're really excited about getting Aquitaine back, fine. You know, enjoy Bordeaux. I got Paris, so... I'm just saying... I'm not saying that you, that I won, but I didn't lose. Let's say that. Troops are just now starting to arrive up in Manchukuo, or that approximate region. Looks like we have our tanks already getting engaged and doing just fine. At least in a few key areas. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, you guys are okay. Let's make sure you guys are not set to be aggressive, though. I'm a little bit hesitant to be overly aggressive against these guys right now. Except for you guys down in Italy. You'll be fine. Everyone else? Fine. What about you? 
Now, you're not set to aggressive, but blue is. That's fine, because I plan on attacking Italy with them. All right. So as these units arrive and get their organization up, they should automatically start attacking. We're going to see how well we can do against Transamur over here. Start pushing to get myself some new uh, ground I can use to try and get up into Hokkaido. Or just start pushing all the way down into Korea. Korea, I think, would be a better staging ground if possible. It's a shorter distance as far as naval invasions are concerned, but... We'll see what happens, and in the meantime, we have managed to build up some naval bases over here. Just barely protected it, so we have some place we actually can provide naval range to my ships. That's good. Okay, we got some upgrades for what? What do we upgrade again? Oh, right, my infantry equipment. Haha! -ha! Yes, we're only just now getting the tier 3 infantry equipment. Not because I'm behind schedule, just because we're that far, like, in the game. Uh, we're about to finish up some extra breakthrough and defense for all infantry. Obviously, that's going to end up being quite good for me. Is there anything else we can do as far as our tanks? I think we have one more year before I could go for another upgrade. That said, we have a 50% ahead of time bonus, so do we just want to do something? Yeah, let's go ahead and start upgrading our medium tank. It's only going to take 144 days. We're also about to get an 8% research speed boost, which will be nice. If we can uh, start upgrading those medium tanks, I mean, yeah, we'll, we'll just start replacing all of those. My 40 combat widths are going to be that much better. And we can also just go ahead and grab a quick doctrine that'll be super duper cheap. I will spend some of my air experience just to speed it up a little bit. Because, honestly, we have two more years before I can even research Fighter Model Level 3. Uh, I was going to save all my air experience for that, but, like, why? Like, what do we gain? Like, I don't know. Is there anybody I'd like to annex, by the way? Just so we can say that we did? Um, no, not really, honestly. I don't feel like we need to necessarily prop up any particular... Any particular puppet with the intention of annexing them by the end of the game. So, what else do we want, then? Let's go for a little bit more infrastructure in a couple of key areas. We'll expand out the highway a little bit more. So we can get some more supply over there. Also reinforce some units faster. If we want to. I think this will be a little bit helpful. Okay, that'll work. Uh, and then with that all done, um, we already are building out an air base. We're building up some radar. We're already getting our naval bases. We probably should upgrade the naval base the rest of the way. So we'll be able to use that to send as much supply over to Japan as possible. That'll be the closest naval base capable of doing something like that. My tanks have found, apparently, a couple of clear ways to attack the enemy. Let's get over here and trap some of their uh, marine divisions, because we can. And yeah, if they're going to leave this open, I mean, maybe we can actually just sneak behind all of his troops and cut them off right along here. Oh, wouldn't that be fun? If we can just get over here and, like, actually cut off a lot of their forces, then we'll just be able to do whatever the heck we want in northern uh, Siberia area, Manchukuo, and press down unopposed. That'd be amazing. Oh, I also declared war on Afghanistan, because I can. So we're just, gonna, we're just gonna go take these guys out as well. Why not? The French Republic declares war on Niger. Gosh dang you colonial imperialists. How dare you? There you go. We completely cut these guys off. Ah, no, wait. They completely cut me off. Ah, I don't like that. No, it's fine. Actually, you can go ahead and finish this off. We were about to bring in some more guys. There we go. We're fine. All right. And we'll grab this port. Thank you kindly. Uh, that's nice. Let's get down over here along the coastline or something. But there we go. All right, so you guys have nowhere to run. We should be able to cut you guys off and destroy all of you. I imagine you'll be taking a fair bit of attrition along the way. How's my supply looking? Mostly okay. A little bit rough up over here. Guess I can't say that I'm surprised, but there you go. But as we push more troops down here into Transmur, I think it will be just okay. Let's go ahead and send you guys down here as well. Uh, How do we want to do this? What's going on? Game? Order restored in Belgium. Yes, I know. So many people who are no longer puppets in the same way they were before. It makes me sad. I know, I know, I don't care. Uh, do we want to start producing any more of our transport planes? Probably should produce at least a few more, and then I think we just go hard on fighters from here on out. Air support is the only thing that's going to matter. You never fight a land war in Asia. It's not something you do. It just isn't done. Why? Because this is terrible terrain, and you lose a lot of men or something. I don't know. It's just a saying. I don't actually know the reason. I'm just assuming that's the reason. Claim the Straits. Yeah, I can I can, I can, can do Claim the Straits against my own vassal of Greece. Do I need to? Because I don't feel like I have anything to worry about. What's this? We have another exploitation. We can get some more aluminum and steel. Cost political power. It's not worth it to me. Uh, you guys. You know what? You're already here. Why don't you just go ahead and go this way? And we'll just cut off those troops over there. There's only two of them, but whatever. Nope, three of them. Sorry, whatever. Doesn't matter, though. Let's we'll go ahead and cut these guys off. Give them nowhere to run. Little tiny encirclements. We're drawing little tiny circles. How's Afghanistan doing? Not good. We got Kabul. There's Kandahar. 
If I recall correctly, Afghanistan has so few victory points that just taking the two of them isn't enough to capitulate. You actually have to take a lot more of their land. The French Republic declares war on Wadai. What? What? What is it with you, France? What is it? With, you think that just because you got Aquitaine, you can go and restore a French Empire in in Africa? Ugh! You make me sick. You make me sick, France. Well, here go some speedy boy tanks trying to work their way over to Korea before anything else can happen, which it looks like is going to be no problem whatsoever. Uh, you had a couple guys sitting over here in Manchukuo, but you can't even pierce through my tanks, so really, who cares? Um. What I want to do with you now is go ahead and start pushing into uh, Korea and get me some ground so I don't end up getting bottlenecked. If at all possible. Just grab something like this so I have at least enough of a front that I don't get stuck in a one province area with no combat with and I can't find a way to get through Japan's forces. Like, that would obviously not be great. Uh, you guys can push through here. You guys can push up here. You can go here. And you can go here. And you can go circle up through here. And the rest should get cleaned up. That leaves this group right here, which we're still in the process of surrounding, but if we can do so, I think they're going to be just fine. Pretty low in organization as we go through all this, uh, turns out. We're losing a lot of organization as we move. I think that's okay, though. Tanks are doing their job. Looks like we should be able to clean up this capital city, so they're going to go. There goes Laos. Oh, no! My first vassal ever has fallen to Vietnam! No! How could this happen? I don't care. Laos was a joke, alright? Don't get excited, Japan. I literally took Got Laos it. as a joke, on a bet. Alright? Really don't care about them even a little bit. Okay, there goes Laotian exile leaders, and there goes Transmer, and actually there goes a whole lot of their stuff, which Get means what we should do now is just go ahead and... Nope, nope, nope. Quickly extend out the lines so we can fully entrap them, like so. It's actually a little bit too large, but... Whatever, I'm sure it'll be fine. Let's just go ahead and grab all that nonsense. Wing formations is done. That's going to be some bonuses for air doctrine. Uh, naval bombers, tempting. We could go for... One paratrooper division will automatically be deployed in Moscow. Sure, why not? I, I'm okay with that, I guess. Fate of Afghanistan. They must not be our graveyard. We will give them autonomy. And there we go. All right, we're not we're not trying to hold on to Afghanistan. Many empires have learned the hard way in the modern era that trying to simply force Afghanistan into your uh, pocket is not going to work out very well. Let's go ahead and send you guys up to Korea. Uh, not that I expect you to be needed exactly, but I'd like to have some troops available to go for a naval invasion. We're still mopping up over here. Seems to be going okay. You guys are still on your way to go clear out them. They haven't moved, though, which is kind of a little bit odd, but all right. Yeah, lots of casualties being inflicted up in this direction. Some tanks would certainly help. Let's see if we can do something like this as well. Just clear them all out. They've got, like, no organization whatsoever. Just finish them. Finish it, Flaversham. Just finish them. Order restored in Georgia. We finished the backhanded blow, which means I can now go for the modern Blitzkrieg, which gets me so much more breakthrough and organization on my tanks. It's just stupidly ludicrous. My 40 combat widths... No amount of defense. I mean, there is an amount of defense. But basically, practically speaking, no amount of defense is going to save anybody. They're all dead. They can take anything on. Almost done clearing this nonsense up. Then we got to figure out the whole naval invasion stuff. Justification for conquering Dalmatia is done, which means we can finally finish off the remaining syndicalists in Italy. So we're going to go ahead and do that, and I'll call in all my allies as well, so we don't have to worry about being able to actually attack from certain directions, and the game is freezing up. There it is. And we call in all of our numerous vassals. Holy crud. All right, so go and go. I don't see why not attack. Oh, look at that. Yep, yep, you guys stand absolutely no chance at all. Sure, we're going to have a hard time fighting these mountains. We're going to keep you dang well pinned down. And in the meantime, by attacking from the two Sicilies, you guys are going to find yourself attacked from your soft, vulnerable underbelly. You've seen this play out once before. This is take two. I just realized we're going to have some trouble with naval invasions because my fleet literally doesn't have this range to get there. There's this little bit right here that's actually preventing my navy from arriving where it's supposed to. Uh, okay, well, um, hmm. We can try building out, let's say, some naval bases here. I think that increases your support range for ships. So we're going to try for something like that and see if that makes a difference. Otherwise, we're going to be in a weird spot where I need to make use of my submarines, basically. 
uh, in order to try and take them out or go for the naval escort, which I'd rather not do because subs aren't exactly the best at that job. Almost done with this. We are about to take over Korea. Just got to get this one last little port. They actually been training up a surprising amount of medium tank divisions themselves. Not that it's going to matter because mine are better, but I appreciate the effort on part of the AI. There we go. So now you guys should be able to simply clear them out like so, and that's going to be a few more casualties for you. Okay, so Japan at this point has been kicked off of the mainland, except for apparently a small little naval incursion right over here, which I don't really know how that happened, but that's fine. We've got tanks nearby ready to go, which basically means you are extraordinarily screwed. All right, so with that taken care of, we're kicking them out over here already. So now we need to go for either naval invasions or paradrops. One of the two. I'm working on some upgrades for my air bases so I can actually facilitate air superiority. That's all I need is to just land down here, for example, uh, with some paratroopers. If we could do that, we would be able to take this over, transfer over my troops really quick before they're able to get shot down by enemy subs, and then just push until we win. The only problem with that, of course, is I don't think we have any of our paratroopers ready to go. But we can fix that, even if they are green. Let's go ahead and deploy, like that. All right, Socialist Republic of Italy has just capitulated, which means all of this is now going to go to me. Oh, Legionnaire Italy thinks they get something, do they? Uh, I mean, they might. Uh, if I can take away all the stuff that they want, though. Oh, gosh, some of this is really expensive. What the heck? Why is some of this so unbelievably pricey? Holy crud. Okay, well, I'll tell you what, I'll just take the stuff that I can give back to the two Sicilies, all right? Oh my gosh, I can't even take this many things. I hate the point system! All right, let's go ahead and take all this. Looks like Legionnaires is going to take Summit. Um, it's fine, though. We'll just take all this. I can't even... T oh my god, I hate this system. I've always hated this system. All right, take this. Done. Take Dalmatia. Done. That's it. Okay. So Legionnaires takes a couple more provinces up here. I think that might have actually split these guys up. I can't tell around Genoa. No, it's actually connected. It's all one connected nation. Okay, that's good. Uh, question, can I just hand it all back to who it belongs to? Weapons for Laotian... No, I'm not going to do any of that. I don't... No, I'm not worried about that. Croatia, yes, you may have Dalmatia. Enjoy. Sicily, yes, you may have all of that land back to you. Did it work? Nope, the game froze. There it is. All right, the two Sicilies has grown. Okay. So we do still have some national populists in Legionnaire um, Italy, but I'm not really worried about them. They're kind of the only hole in Europe, mainland Europe down here, but whatever. Pretty much all of this now, though, belongs to me. Let's see what else we want to do for our national focus. We still haven't got the ag agricultural modernization, and I guess I'll go ahead and do that just for the resource gain and the and production efficiency cap. It's pretty good. Probably should have done that a while ago, actually, now that I think about it. Um... Navy, I don't think we would benefit too much from an open seas doctrine. It's okay, and I don't care about the submarines necessarily. Air superiority, though, that could be helpful. Close air support, no. Pair drop attack and defense and agility, though. Good as that is, what really matters is actually just getting the air superiority in the first place. So I'm going to start investing pretty heavily in that. This... Uh, this airbase still has only capacity for 400 planes. That is not nearly enough. All right. Um, we'll probably need to place down some air bases up over there as well. Yeah, I finished building up a naval base down over here, and it apparently has not increased my range at all. Oh, that sucks. That makes my life a heck of a lot harder. Okay, so it looks like we're not going to be able to make use of our large fleet, which basically means all that work I put into trying to figure out templates and actually test out some uh, naval stuff, I'm never going to get a chance to actually use the fleet. <laughs> After all that nonsense. Okay, no. Yeah, uh, all right. Yeah, whatever, whatever. Uh, Navy, hi. Submarines, all of you. Uh, tell you what, you all going to group up as one big subgroup now. It's a little bit too large, but it'll do. You're going to be doing naval invasion support right here. Forget this zone. Forget all these other ones. They don't matter. Forget this. Get out of all that. You're just here to escort these guys. Okay? If you can do that, we'll be in pretty good shape. Let me also grab a couple hundred fighters so you can just have some vision as what's happening. Legionnaire Italy just declared war on Austria. Apparently they're feeling a little bit emboldened. Okay, that's amusing to me. Well, uh, I actually already have got all my troops in over here, so um, wasn't planning on killing you, but I guess you've left me no choice. It is now time for you to die. 
Let's go ahead and call in the Sic two Sicilies, and we will do exactly that. Whoa! Japan just made a major naval invasion. Hello. Okay, that, yeah, uh, great, cool. No, good for you. I'm really impressed, actually. Um, it doesn't matter, because guess what? I, I happen to have a stinking ton of tanks that are sitting around ready to work, but, you know, there you go. Apparently, I am out of supply. No, I'm out of you now we're taking some much I don't know what's going on over there. Well, whatever it's fine just get the tanks up there and we'll deal with them it doesn't matter this is actually great because it means that Japan just sent a whole load of their troops to die which I find absolutely hilarious missing scout plane production yeah I know I'm not really working on that we just had a few extras and I figured we'd make use of them uh you guys all try to get down here as well help out all all of you there we go help out over here please Lordy, I don't know why this is so difficult for some of you people uh is there a port over here no so they just landed in an area with absolutely no supply I'm really not sure what they thought they were doing. Um, again, I appreciate the gumption. It's just... That wasn't smart. Agricultural modernization is done. Let's go ahead and grab uh, the boost for some destroyer models. It only takes 35 days. I don't appreciate, Japan, that you're able to just march around through here with military access and the Fengxing government, and I can't. It makes it a little bit harder for me to slaughter you when you actually are getting supplies, and I'm really not. Makes it a lot harder, actually. Legionnaire Italy has capitulated. Excellent news. I'm just gonna go ahead and eat you now, if you don't mind. Thank you. Who can we release you into, I wonder? A Tuscan state or something? That could be kind of fun. Looks like it's Lombardy, Emilia, and Central Italy. Uh, all right, well, we can give it to Sardinia, which is actually a vassal of the two Sicilies, but I'd rather just go ahead and give that to them. Lombardy, I will go ahead and create a new Italian Republic for fun. And it's taking forever to actually look. Good Lord, Kaiserreich, what is going on here? And then the fate of Amelia. Just for the heck of it, I'll give this to our Sicilian allies, so at least it looks a little bit cleaner. There we go. Nice, clean borders. We also just finished researching an upgrade for that medium tank. Let's go ahead and create a new variant. A little bit of extra armor, some reliability, and some main gun would be nice. Sure, that's a really, really good tank. Let's go ahead and start building those. Okay, finally cleared these guys all out from Korea. Now we are moving the army back down here. It may be time for us to go ahead and launch our paratroopers while we have air superiority at the moment. Uh, I did give, was it you? You, the paratrooper bonus. So we're going to go ahead and give that to you. It's going to take some time. Ah, whatever. We're just going to launch. Screw it. Not worth. Just launch. Go, 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 go. All right, we've arrived. Hey, they have some tanks. Crap. Ugh, okay, that's not good. Red, quickly, get over here as fast as you can. Don't let them get this. I need this port. I need it so bad. Oh, God. Okay, hang on. We actually do need this port, though. I'm not joking. Um... Is it even possible for me to get in here fast enough to possibly snag it? Maybe if I use you and sacrifice and pin him down! Aha! Maybe? I don't know. Um, I can't see what's going on with all the arrows in the way. So we're just gonna have to assume that this is good. Red is on the way. Will they get here fast enough? That's the real question. Uh, can you guys get over here? I just need to entrench like hell right there. Like, this is the main thing. If I can just hold on to this port, we will be fine. May have some trouble in terms of, like, supply and stuff, but, I mean, I'll take what I can get. Can you possibly get across here and maybe, like, get me another supply point just so I have that option? Um, you guys get up here as well. As soon as you have a little bit of work with. Okay, we actually have enough organization and entrenchment coming in. We'll be okay. If I can sneak up here to Hiroshima before he's able to get any troops up here, that would obviously make my life easier. We did get somebody up over here. Let's see if we can sneak around this way. There's not going to be much of anything there. We're about to land here. Okay. If we can get up over here, which we're about to land as well, that'll join everybody up. So we'll have some supply points. We took some losses because they're deploying their air force to try and stop me, which is no surprise. Where's Red? Where are all of you? Why aren't you all getting over here? Oi! Over here, idjits! Oh my god. They're, they're gonna ruin this for me, aren't they? Strategic redeploy as fast as you can down to southern Korea. You're all called over here now. Like, for real. I, I don't... How hard is it just to do what I tell you to? Get over here. Alright, so they are deploying some troops. Um... We might... Okay, so first off, we establish at least some troops there and there. These five will get here, and that's fine where you are. All of you need to get deployed up over here. You guys are fine right there. You're going to do what you're doing, but then after that, yeah. Go somewhere else. See if we can get across. Come on, Red. Stop. What are you do What are you doing? 
Oh my god, I hate them so much. I don't see the problem. I don't see the problem. We control a port. You can get across. So do it. He has no organization. Can you kill him? Actually, we might be able to kill him. Oh, would you look at that? We actually can totally kill him. He's got like nothing there. Okay, so that's another port we can grab. That's supply points. Red. Oh, there we go. Now they're coming to join the fun. Oh, I see how this works. It's actually probably because this port was under attack, so they weren't like allowed to land there or something like that. That's the kind of thing I could imagine it being, but whatever. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and grab all those points. We do have something over here. We can try to grab this. I'm gonna send you to go join up over here as well. Okay, the paratroopers are actually fairly good. We haven't really upgraded them at all, but even with their losses, they have enough organization. They should be able to fight back against most of what they're gonna throw at me, especially if you have low organization. I say we go ahead and take advantage of that and just go ahead and stomp on you. Grab Hiroshima. All right. All right. Red Army tanks are on the way. Finally. 40. Even in Kaiserreich when I'm like, oh, this is going to be a lot easier than it has been in the past runs. No, nah, it turns out Japan still sucks. Japan's still really hard to freaking deal with. It's a tough nut to crack. Like any island empire. Ugh. All right. Red, congrats. You're here? And that means we push until Japan... Gives the freaking heck up. And I am going to be setting you on aggressive. Now, Japan, I don't think, is going to have a lot of troops. Eh, they're redeploying some, but it's not going to be enough. They already lost a lot of troops doing naval invasions. I have noticed in Kaiserreich, Japan doesn't build nearly as large of a land army. And I think that's due to manpower requirements because they don't take over China in Kaiserreich. So they end up having a good navy, which has been a really hard thing for me to get around. And usually a pretty good air force. It took me a while to whittle them down enough that we could actually get somewhere. Kind of doing that little trick where we have no planes, so I just kind of put them all somewhere else, and then all of a sudden we decide to place our planes and our transport planes in air superiority, and we have a, like a one-week window in order to actually make our move, which is exactly what I did here. Um, either way, though. So, yeah, there's not usually much of a land army presence, and against this kind of breakthrough with this many tanks, and now that we're providing enough uh, supply... These guys should have absolutely no chance in heck. Um, so we're just going to sit back and enjoy the fireworks, then. And with the death of Japan, we are going to finish our run, of course, in Kaiserreich, as that completes uh, the National Focus Tree, or at least everything that I care about in the National Focus Tree. The only remaining em uh, enemy, really, would be the Entente. I mean, I guess we could fight over all of China, but let's be honest, that's not going to be worth it at all. I don't care about that at all. Um, hey, Tokyo is, like, right here, dude. Forget that fight. Go take Tokyo. Like, do you guys just not understand how to go for checkmate in this game? Because that's what you're supposed to do. You should really go for checkmate. Checkmate's good. Checkmate's better. Recommend it. Uh, let's go ahead and grab a couple of guys real quick to just clear this out so I don't have to worry about it. Um, let's see. That might be enough, actually, to make them capitulate. Nope, not quite. All right. Let's just grab a couple more victory points. Probably one more day or so. We are overrunning his troops because we are moving so stinking fast. Still not enough to force him to capitulate. That's okay. Let's just go ahead and get right down in here. Grab that. There we did. Okay, one more victory point there. Then send die. This is, what, 15% less? towards capitulation and you still held out this long jeez all right well that's a lot of points i got to work with now finally all right take all states i'm gonna take all of that and i'm just gonna go ahead and take all of japan and you work for me now bye five minutes later the game finally actually moves on so i can uh i can actually continue all right well that's all done laos gets their government back that's fine uh, vietnam i guess i don't know who you're involved in anymore i mean now that japan's fallen i guess we never actually fought you so we didn't get to take any of your territory. Um, in a minute, I am sure we are going to be allowed to release some more people in Japan. Or I could just kind of let, I'll let it be here. You know what? Let's just go ahead and end the campaign here while I control all of Korea and Japan for the heck of it. So at the end of the game, this is the Moscow Accord. Pretty darn good, all in all. Russia can be quite fun if you want to go down an imperialist route. Had a lot of fun with this campaign. I wouldn't say that it was the absolute best. The same issues I had with Kaiserreich in terms of performance and also just the inability to blob properly always has made it a little bit hard. But I will say, good story, well written, pretty fun playthrough. I enjoyed it. I recommend Russia as a good um, beginner-friendly nation in Kaiserreich. Russia and Germany, probably the easiest ones I've done so far. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed this series. If so, then I would humbly ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. All right. Let's go ahead and do it. Let's go!